Uh-oh, uh-oh, what are we doing now? What are we doing now? We are here at LA Tint. LA Tint Manassas. What number will the Chevy Bison 2500 HD be here at LA Tint Manassas? And what do we do to the truck? How creative do I get with my beautiful Bison truck? As I show you right now, how just cool it is. And it's hot out here, but not too bad. But look here. What do we do to it? The before and after look of the Chevy Bison. After I get the windows tinted, do I do a strip? Do I do the back window? Do I do a wrap? What the hell do I do? I don't know, but stay tuned for the before. Before and after look at LA tint. What number is this? I don't even know. 81, 82 tints. Wow. The piece is done, no more piece. It's noisy time. What's happening, everybody? How are you? Wow, the place is packed. Man, how do you guys survive? Is, is your ass is kicked today? Huh, are you exhausted? Wow, one vinyl top Lincoln Mercury Cougar? What the hell is this thing, huh? Mark E, ooh, with a half vinyl top that says it all. Was that like status symbol back in the day or yeah. what? Huh? That was grandpa symbol. Could you be hanging out with all the ladies in the car smoking your cigar or was all your buddies with beer cans in the back drinking beer as you looked like an old man? Probably the latter, right? All right, well, I get another project for you. And it's a Chevy. It's a Chevy truck. Wow. It's another Chevy. What's well, happened to me, huh? I, I, quit, I quit drinking the Ford Kool Aid, man. Now I'm drinking the Chevy Kool Aid. <laughs> yeah, right. I think that front window needs to be just a little darker, man. It ain't dark enough. <laughs> the windshield, the fuzzy dice. Come on. I mean, the uniqueness to each car's personality, or is it the personality, the uniqueness of the person that owns it, right? <laughs> All right. Aren't you done yet? What the hell? Now you're in the back seat. Man, you love the back seat of these big cars. You're just thinking you're a big old teenager again, aren't you? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you remember those back seat days, huh? Yeah, getting going in life. Is it big enough? Was it a big enough back seat for you? You need to be a little bigger? You need, the, you need the technology new forge where the seat just lays flat, kind of in the front. Yeah, sounds like somebody's fighting that back window. All right, looks like the, uh, remember the Maruder? Remember the, uh, the, the uh, was it the Ford Maruder, I think it is, with a high performance engine in it? Looked like a, uh, supposed to look, was the Marauder, what was it? Maruder, I think it's called the, the, uh, the Ford Maruder, like a Ford or performance sedan car where you two could do burnouts in your Ford four-door car. Marauder, is that what it was? Was it a Ford or a Lincoln? Or... Yeah. Because it was back like the 50s they brought it out, but then they brought it, a retro, they brought it, brought it back again like in the 80s or 90s or something, right? I guess we're going to be old men, are we? <laughs> we giving away our age. <laughs> All right. How about that, huh? You don't know if anybody's in there or not. Is that the goal? All right, does it hit the roof? Does it hit the, uh, I think you're okay. You gotta go up more. Let's see. Open. There we go. Yep, we're good. Got the big ass mirrors. Tight, 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 man. Woo! He's done this a few times, hasn't he, huh? Wow. Yeah, that was a smart move. All right, so the agenda is, what, 25 on the front windows that we're doing? I think it's the match. And then we're doing 15 on the back for the limo look. And then we're gonna do the 15 strip. And then we'll see what you think about. I mean, what do you, what's your thoughts? So if you go to the back of the truck, mm -hmm. I wanna show you the back of the tailgate. And you'll kind of see the theme back there. 
and see what you're I wouldn't do the top hood but so the question is do we take this theme yeah they're usually wrapped they wrap this in piece do you take like that and put that on the hood mm. or maybe just do like a sh stripe or something right I mean, what's your thoughts? Mm. Are you give us some character or be tacky? I would do it for the black. But would you do satin or what would you do? do this. Stop it right here. Yeah, just do that area there. It's like yeah. the, this little hood scoop area. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah, that's really cool. I like it. Still have white right here. Well, I've got a, a but I've got a, uh, a bug deflector coming. Yeah. So you're thinking just do the the area there where like the hood scoop is. Mm -hmm. Is that doable today? Awesome. Should we pop the hood to let it cool off a little bit? Yeah, well, it's your call. I mean, you know, if you don't think it's realistic today, I'll have to come back in our day. So you, uh, the shop, the shop's getting busy. The heat off this black paint, it's huge. It feels like an oven right here. You go over to the white truck, Go to the white truck and it's nothing. I mean, it's a huge difference. You can just stand next to the truck and literally feel heat coming off of it. Wow. Yeah, ever since I got here, our brand brother's showing up now. So they're rocking. We're gonna do a little strip on the hood. I think that'd be pretty cool. Sherry thought of that idea. Oh no, what have I convinced them to do now? What have I convinced them to bend over? Wow, we're gonna do the hood. But you know what's really cool? Jerry here came up with a great idea. Let's just do a portion of the hood, like the hood scoop kind of concept idea. So we're gonna literally do a nice um, matte black finish of just the hood and versus like the whole hood, which I think is a really good idea. And he's using that world famous fish tape which a guy created out of fishing line and sold it to uh the uh 3m for millions of dollars yeah unbelievable oh these guys do this in their sleep it's just beyond unbelievable how fast they do all this window tint please here get in the truck and look how big the front windshield strip is wow and you know, there is a little marker here, so it makes it legal, but wow, all I can say is very impressive and how much darker the truck is. I tinted that out, limo, it's limo tint. So this truck should definitely have a whole new, much more dark feel to it. And then the front hood's gonna have that nice black look to it. I think that'll be really cool. I think it's gonna give the truck a really unique personality. So. Uh, I'm excited about that. They kind of make it my own because that's what it's all about is trying to make the vehicle you own be kind of your personal, um, personal personalize it, right? So see the back window now? So, oh, hey, you got the, uh, you found it? You got it? You're going? And another happy customer, at least LA 10. Here's a gentleman right here that uh, I met, real nice guy. And he just bought that used. He didn't realize that that has an aftermarket exhaust on it. And I highly recommend, recommend it. He goes to Max Custom Exhaust. That's why he was calling me because he really appreciated me um, giving him somebody to uh, go see. And he's had a little bit of a, uh, a vibration where it's making a little bit of noise, he claims. Mac and cheese and take care of them. As we knock it out here. LA Tent Manassas, number 84. That's what my friend Travis is saying. My truck that I'm bringing him today is number 84. Wow. He may be eating his words and I'm going to give me a free uh, tent. Free tent at 100. Oh, whoop de doo all right. whoop de doo -da. Hey, beautiful day out here. That's for sure. Not too hot. Not too cool. And it's not too humid. But it's a really great working day. It's always the art of knowing what you're doing. And fish tape. Maybe out there watch my channel. Realize or not, this fish tape... Oh my gosh, it's just, you, you step back in life and you think, wow, why couldn't I figure that figured this out? But a guy took fishing line and tape and he used to put fishing line down and put tape over it. And that's why he call it fish, fish tape because he patented the idea of fish tape to cut vinyl. Because when you lay vinyl down 
and you want to get it to be really cut properly, you got to put the fish tape underneath of it so you can pull it and cut it. And that takes, it's a heat technique, and this is a big ass truck, man. It's like, I mean, it's a tall <laughs> truck, so to do this. So here we go. So I think this gives this truck a personality. And that's very creative. I never would have thought to do that. He's putting a magnet down. So how cool. But this is the guy who does this every day. So you see here, I think this really does give the truck. I mean, I think this is a great idea because I had a vision of doing the whole hood. Yeah. But I like Jerry's idea. It gives it more of a personality. Yeah. Of uh, It, it stands out more. Yeah. It gives it more, I guess. Uh, like you just said, hey, do my hood real quick. You know what I mean? Right. My Want me to help you? Want me to grab the other end? Okay. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just kind of like, yeah, but no. That's why I come here, they give you great advice. Very challenging if you see what he's doing. Uh, you know, without that all just crumpling and looking like crap, if I was doing this, I'd already be rodding it up in my hand like a, uh, a spitball and throw it in the trash can. Here you go. I'll get it. Here. And, uh, whoops. So, hey, I can actually help. What about that, huh? See, for me, I'd already be convinced I ruined it. Oh, so he's very creative. He's going to do half, another half. That's a very good idea. So, see, this is why these guys do it. For me, I would never... I'd be the idiot trying to do the whole thing at once. <laughs> yeah, you know how that would look, right? <laughs> the pimple truck is what it would be called then. Not the pimp truck. The pimple truck. <laughs> Yeah, this is no more of a project than we thought, so I won't, I won't try to embarrass him, so I'm not going to film too much. Wowsker, wowsker, the big ones are always a pain in the ass, aren't they? Yeah, nice, the good. Yeah, wow. The hood's still hot as fuck. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, I told you that I'd be up for the try, and if it gets yeah, to be yeah. too radical, we'll abandon, we'll bore. But you know what? It looks really good right now. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. That looks really cool. I mean, I think that mat was the right choice. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you.